There's no reason that all the homes in Atherton should have solar panels and Teslas in the driveways, many, many of them parked next to Range Rovers, um, um, not at Tom's house, but, but, the, um, um, but over in East Palo Alto, we have almost no solar panels or no integration of efficiency in the home. And we have all kinds of dislocation because of a few lessors and lessee arrangements. We haven't taken care of the organizations to bring the rest of the communities along. That would be an injustice in and of itself, but it's much worse than that. We protected these monopolies to deliver the first social compact for 100 years. We gave them privileged positions. We made them outsource taxation authorities and regulated their return. And they're leaving the junk and the gunk and the brittled grid with those who can't afford or don't have access or information or education to integrate the new technologies in their lives, and they need them most. Those same solar panels will cut their bills. That will give them more cash flow. They will avoid the, the trips to the gasoline, uh, um, uh, uh, to uh, refills of gasoline, and give more money for groceries. So that same seething problem of static income that has been plaguing us for two decades has a chance of being exacerbated if we don't mind the dislocations, not just at the mine mouth or at the wellheads, but also in our communities across this country, in East Palo Alto and Oakland and Detroit and Cleveland, et cetera. So we're gonna pay a lot of attention to that. <clears throat> Thank you.